Hi, I'm Mel Biggs from Moro, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about making Framed the Alice Wielden story and how it's changed me. For some time now, I've been quietly passionate to learn more about women's history, the fight for equality and how I fit into that. And when we first started discussing making album three, I mentioned to Joe and Sarah that I was really interested in doing something with more of a feminist bent and about the history of women in work. But it was Joe who made the suggestion that we focus on one particular character. And that's when Alice Wielden came into our lives and we just couldn't stop reading about all the fantastic things that she stood for, but also the tragic things that happened to her and her family. Reading about Alice's journey and Alice's life and what she did for her children as a mother really kind of gave me some kind of strength this year to stand up and fight for what I believe in. And it's really churned a lot up inside me um, to do things like this. I mean, I kind of shy away from being super political because it turns a lot of people off. I don't like polarity. I've always, I think it's my personality characteristics that I want to try and please as many people as possible. And politics is something that you're definitely not going to be able to do that with. I feel that since finding out about Alice and her life story, I've found some kind of inner strength and I've sort of started thinking that at times she's with me. There's this energy that suggests that she's here and she's kind of holding my hand and she's guiding me towards things that I would have normally shied away from. One example of that is that earlier this year I went to London to take part in the People's Vote March and the night before I was having some severe anxiety about being in a crowd and um, kind of not dealing very well with that. But I just sort of sat and thought, what would Alice think? If you didn't go, what would Alice think? <laughs> and it really did spur me on. It was quite incredible. She was a woman that stood up for what she believed in and she paid the price ultimately with her freedom. Um, she was wrongly imprisoned and accused of murder. Um, and there is evidence now that proves her innocence and her family are fighting for that with an appeal to the criminal court. That happened a hundred years ago. It's still happening today all around the world. People are losing freedoms for the things that they believe in. But I think one of the things I've come to realise is, is that isn't it better and more honest to really experience our full truth in the world you know and be able to speak and be who we really are and stand up for those who aren't able to do that i just can't seem to get away from that thought that whilst it is ridden with fear and anxiety that actually those are just things that are trying to keep us down and keep us kind of in the mass but i think we need to stand up more for whatever it is that you believe in. We have to be able to find our voice. And I think Alice has helped me to find mine and actually start making steps towards making the world a better place. I mean, it's one of those things I've always been a little bit pessimistic about or what kind of, you know, I'm one person, what can I do? But I think if you have lots of one people, lots of individuals, that stand up and talk, then that's where you really see a tipping point. If I've been affected by Alice's story in that way, then who's to say that other people that would hear the story wouldn't be as well? And I'm truly grateful to have found out about Alice and I'm part of a trio who have written an album and a live show and we are crowdfunding to get support to go and take that show wide. And I really cannot wait to see what it brings. I just see so many similarities to what we're experiencing today. And as I say, I think it's just a story that needs to be told because it has the power to influence modern day society, I think, and make people realise that they are able to make changes in their local community and if those changes kind of wash like a tide then who's to say that it won't end up ultimately changing 
further afield, but we've all got that power to change our immediate community, the street we live on. We can start there. We can start with our next door neighbours. So please help this project. I've got a link down below to our Kickstarter campaign. If you're unable to make a donation at this time, we understand, but please like and share this video go and see our more i page on facebook we're on twitter and instagram and youtube as well you'll find our blogs go and have a look and do as much as you can for free just sharing just giving your time just for that little share we would really appreciate it our album launch is next week at derby folk weekender and we have some dates coming in for next year but this money that from the kickstarter will really help us to take the story further afield and um, promote the show and uh, we're really looking forward to that thank you very much for watching <laughs>